Hey, what's up, guys? This made it look like a new RC car in my collection, but it's actually not. This is the Traxxas TRX4 rock crawler that I bought last week. Started life as a Bronco, and now it is this. So in this video, I'm going to tell you pretty much how I turned it into what it is now. So I started with the Proline Jeep Rubicon body, and I cut the body out of its mold and left it clear so that I could trim the wheel wells right here to fit the body. I wanted to keep the wheel wells. So I did that and then I set up the body mounts how I wanted because I used magnets so I wouldn't have to drill holes in the body. Once I got all that set up then I aligned the step bar here or rock slider kind of doubles as both and then I painted the body. So what I did is I used the included masking and taped off the windows from the inside as you would a regular body and I spray painted it copperhead orange with Tamiya paint and I also taped off the fender wells or uh, fender flares as they're called from the inside with painters tape. So once I had painted it orange I took the painters tape off of the inside and sprayed it black just because. Then on the outside I ran tape along the roof line and made my own masking for the back windows and masked around the fender flares and this little guard right here and sprayed it with truck bed liner to give it a 3D more realistic feel and it came out freaking amazing. After that I added a few stickers not too crazy and then I added mirrors and wiper blades from an axial kit uh, I actually found just that parts tree on eBay. And I don't have the parts tree number. Actually, I do. It's AX31574. So that's the parts tree from an axial kit. And that gives you the mirrors, wiper blades, headlights, tail lights, and door handles. Which I'm not going to use the door handles because it's already got molded ones in the body. And it would look kind of weird with another door handle on top of a door handle. So I'm not going to do that. After that, I got the front and rear bumpers and the wheels and tires, which are pretty straightforward. Once I mounted up the wheels and tires, I had to cut part of the axle stub off to fit the center caps of the wheels. Just a few millimeters, not that much. For the bumpers, that was a little bit of a trick to get them mounted the way I wanted them. I actually took the rear bumper mount turned it upside down and put it up front and then mounted the front bumper and I got a little winch on there too which is not hooked up yet and then for the rear bumper I took the front bumper mount and left it the same orientation stuck it in the frame and mounted the rear bumper up that way so that was pretty easy and that's pretty much what I did here um, the spare tire right now is actually a wheel from a slash I didn't have an extra scale wheel and tire to use because the stock body, the stock bumpers, and the stock wheels and tires I sold. So uh, selling that actually paid for most of these upgrades. I also ordered a light kit. Now these lights here, actually no, these lights over here came with the front bumper and then there's another one that came with the rear bumper which I'll probably use those too. These are headlights, tail lights, and turn signals. And it came with this little controller. I'm not sure where I'm going to put these at on the truck. I might just use all the white ones and get a, a light bar or I don't know. I haven't decided where I'm going to put all the lights yet. But I did order that light kit for this project. And on the rear bumper, which is really cool, you can see it's got a little hitch there. And it came with this. So when I decide to get a trailer if I get a trailer I just mount that in there and it's got a trailer ball so I can tow a trailer around this is a license plate that I made obviously I live in Texas so I made a Texas license plate that is a real Texas license plate that I made really small on the computer and printed out and also in Texas you have to have a window sticker so there's the window sticker for Texas I made that. That's actually off of my real truck. And then there's the magnets right there. 
to line the magnets up you just uh, cut the little tab off where your body clip normally goes drill a hole mount the magnets on the post and then put these magnets on here put some double sided tape on them line the body up where you want and then press down then you take the body off and you press down even harder so you know those magnets stick on there really good and that's that it was a lot of work but I think the finished project is amazing and I cannot wait to get this outside and give you all some videos of it running I did tell you all in the last video of me unboxing the TRX4 that I was going to get you all some videos of it soon but I only took like a couple of clips and then I tore it down to build this so there's not a very many clips of the Bronco running but I will try to put something together for y'all in the next week or two so that's it for this video if you want to build you a TRX4 Jeep hopefully this video helps you do it the way you want and give it some realistic feel for not a lot of money so thanks for watching guys please like share comment and subscribe